now we move to the second point i am trying to finish quickly today fine i will continue for some more time are you all right not getting bored you are seeing me for the third time you say please madam go back to hyderabad quickly don't come again okay if you have any questions etc you can always ask let me continue then okay let me talk then a little more about preparation for an interview in the verbal aspect you know each of you has some friends in the campus because all of us feel nervous for a verbal interview especially when it comes to communication skills we can conduct some mock interviews friend to friend first you be the interviewer your friend is the candidate then your friend is the candidate and you are the interviewer like that you keep changing roles 10 days before the interview 15 days before the interview go on practicing every day by asking some questions some questions which are related to the subject beginning with this question introduce yourself five questions related to the subject five questions related to your personality to your character to your skills etc like this if you conduct mock interviews at least 10 interviews you face and then you go for the final interview you will find that you perform better anybody who does not qualify in an interview need not feel disappointed you know each interview is an experience for us somebody told me recently that madam i have appeared for 20 interviews i'm a very good student but i didn't get a job i think i will never get a job in the rest of my life young boy you know 22 23 year old i don't think that is correct what i told him i will share with you i said that those are 20 experiences of the 21st successful interview 20 times practice 21st time job so every time you fail please remember that it is not called as a failure it is only called as a learning experience this learning experience comes to us even when we practice earlier most of the people who come you know as seniors we go for you know subject experts in two hundreds of colleges usmania has 600 colleges for 600 colleges we conduct interviews for english faculty many times i find that english teachers themselves do not have communication skills somebody went for a promotion interview from the english department the vice chancellor sent a report saying please improve your communication skills already has a job as english teacher in the university doesn't have communication skills so it is nothing wrong not to have communication what is wrong what i feel is terrible is not to have the desire to improve communication if you go freshly for the first time to the interview you will feel a sense of dissatisfaction with your communication suppose you prepare and go your personal profile questions which are asked and you go with a pre prepared with your subject you know what you are going to say you have it in your mind you perform better now let us move on to the next part and that is the use of non verbal communication in an interview i will start by giving you an example yesterday our day before i mentioned i think finishing school in nit varangal you know it was a very successful program till the government stopped it for some reason or the other in the class while talking about interview skills i must have mentioned to the student that when you go to the interview hall and they ask you to sit down please sit don't sit on the edge of the chair sit comfortably so we had you know in camera mock interviews so camera is also there like the camera in front of me and then the candidate is sitting there and we had mock interview i found one student coming 
and sitting in the chair like that you know very relaxed i said why are you sitting in the interview chair like that have you come to your house drawing room or have you come to the interview room is it madam you said sit comfortably i'm sitting comfortably why are you objecting to it now sitting comfortably especially those of you who know yoga means to sit with your back straight i'm sure you must be having some yoga classes also in such a beautiful university sit in the interview room with your legs your feet touching the ground not only your toes not only your heels you can't see my legs of course my feet but i i'm telling you don't sit with only your toes touching the ground don't sit only with your heels touching the ground don't cross your legs like this and sit i hope you will observe i can stand a little forward many people sit like this don't do that many people sit like this don't do that many people sit like this don't do that this is wrong non verbal message in an interview room please don't make such mistakes don't put your hand or your elbow on the interviewer's table this is encroaching on the space of the interviewer if you have a bag please keep the bag next to your chair if you have certificates in hand please take permission and keep on the table but please don't hold the table with your fingers like this we feel comfortable you know we are nervous in the interview room so table is there we hold the table or we keep our elbows like that or we keep our hand like that don't ever make that mistake if they give you something to write you say please work out this problem they give you a paper and a pen then you again take permission and use the table in non verbal communication these are called proxemics you can read thousands of pages in internet on proxemics proxemics is not violating the private space of other people so the interviewer space you should not take up when you enter the interview hall you need some proper non verbal tools don't enter as though you are entering some kind of you know gas chamber where they are going to kill you immediately enter with a relaxed facial expression and with a swift footsteps swift does not mean running into the interview hall <coughs> slower than that but slow does not mean you are measuring your footsteps and walking the interviewers will get tired of it keep a pace many you know multinationals it seems put cameras in the corridor also they see how you entered the campus to know what kind of a person you are by looking at a person's walking by looking at the person the way the person moves you can make out much about the character therefore they observe the way you come without their permission don't sit on the chair but after they give permission don't keep standing you know they said please sit down then you keep looking around and you keep hesitating that is not correct these are all swift non verbal tools which you have to be very careful about gestures and you know facial expressions are very important eye contact is very important i'm sure many speakers have spoken about all this in a team of interviewers suppose you have only one interviewer no problem suppose you have four or five one person asks the question the usual response is you keep looking at that person and answering that is not a good sign at all when one person asks a question in a group of 5 people look maximum at that person but please look at each one individually not by moving your head like that but by focusing on each individual as you answer you know because we are concentrating on the subject 
we forget non verbal communication they look at your facial expression and they know immediately that you're thinking you're not concentrating on your skills then they feel that if we give this person a job he or she will be so involved in the mental processes 